So you fuck them right away, but then you play hard to get after you fuck them. You want to so, hurt? The, you want to keep them around? You be like, your dick is all right. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, wait, whoa. What? Your the f- dick is all right. Yeah. She yeah. said that to you. Hey, girl. You trying to hit this? Oh, you know exactly what I need. Happy Tuesday, you filthy fucking stoners. We are in Hayes Radio. I'm Jamie Lee, your co-host. And I'm Emily. What up, bitches? And uh, we have an L.A. comedian and podcaster. You've been in a movie, too, right? Or something? Oh, yeah, a couple of them. Oh, yeah. a, couple oh a couple of, of them. them. You can check out his IMDb. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Uh, we have Malik B. Thank in y'all. the house. Appreciate Round that. of applause. I like to clap for myself sometimes. You, you know, know, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about self-love. Can I Can I give y'all, y'all flowers before we start the podcast? Flowers. Where I like flowers? flowers. Oh, well, hell no. Nah, like. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like nah, weed flowers? Nah, I, would, I would love to get. I should have came with gifts. I should have came with gifts. Well, you're uh, our guest. We're supposed to be nah, taking care but of you. It's like, but you got some gifts right here. So. Oh, well, the boobs. Okay, that is. I, I'm pretty sure that's everyone's gifts. But I just. <laughs> it's God's gifter. <laughs> I like how y'all fucking hustle. That shit be dope as fuck. Like, y'all don't understand. Like, uh, I be saying, I, be, I follow Jamie and I just started following you. But y'all be at like a fucking Palm Springs crib. With like all the baddest, <laughs> baddest women, and next thing you know, y'all have them on the podcast. I was like, oh shit, yeah. that's not hustle. That's why I always tell women, like, keep women around you. They motivate you, bro. Real shit. Yeah, mm. and y'all. And we make too. OnlyFans content with them. You do? Yeah. Oh, then we the make the whole shebang. The whole shebang. <laughs> Then we get TikTok content with them. Oh my God, yo, y'all just there's yeah. so much that goes into it. Well, I, yeah, I know, I know. That's why I'm like, it's a praise I because a that. lot of guys, a lot of people don't know the behind the scenes. If you got to be comfortable with someone, mm. and they be like, yo, can you get on our platform? Or can we do like, because y'all yeah. trying to really push y'all content, y'all really love it, and I, I find that dope. And then just to have that, to just keep flourishing. So I just want to get y'all. Oh, we appreciate oh, yeah. that. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. I'm Thank a y'all. words of affirmation girl, yeah. and I'm. <laughs> No, just keep it coming. Fellas, that's how you get them wet automatically. You just gotta, <laughs> you got, you just you gotta, gotta talk it. nice to them. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. If you fucked nah. me and you're like, I'm so proud of you. Like you're beautiful. <laughs> so I'm that's game all over. They don't care about inches anymore, bro. They don't care about it. They mm, care about no, what you're saying wanna... <laughs> and when you inside it. I'm yeah. Like, God, damn, girl, you keep this house clean as shit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. She'll be like, Oh my God, I ain't cleaning. <laughs> In four weeks. But just little shit like that. They just She's like, yeah, I do keep this house really fucking yeah. clean. You just- yeah, you know what I used? Windex. <laughs> like- you have a whole paper plate on a goddamn bed while y'all fucking. You gotta ignore that. Oh my God. You know, she, you know you're a little nasty, but it's a busy week for you. No, that shit would <laughs> easily, like, that would get me to O before you're like... I don't even know. Like, before you even say, like, something, like, degrading or, like, I don't know, what's dirty talk? Like, oh, I love that pussy. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's, That's so, like, like, 20, like oh, if, to, if oh, you shit. talk about my personality and my accomplishments while we're having, if you literally just talk about my accomplishments, just like he did, but, like, while we're having <laughs> sex, hey. your podcast got 700,000 downloads this <laughs> yeah. month. Oh, You're doing yeah. great. Like, yes. You're going to get yep. so many sponsorships. <laughs> Cannabis <laughs> companies are just hit, flooding your DMs. Right. <laughs> Y'all stupid as fuck. <laughs> Pussy wet, fellas. Just tell them they're accomplishments. Accomplishment. Even if they accomplish shit today, just be like, make some shit up. Yeah. Be like, that's hot out of bed. You did good, hon. The time you did cheerleading and won a participation trophy. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck participation trophies. I'm not with this everybody gets to win bullshit. Wait, what? Sorry, total subject change. Go yeah, ahead, but go she ahead. was talking about participation trophies. I got one once and I threw it out the window of a car. Wait, First, why? Participation trophies like, are for little bitches. Yeah, if your exactly. kid's a fucking little bitch, teach them how to play sports or do something they, better. They might not be talented enough. Well, then they shouldn't be doing that. They should oh, find sh- something else to no, do. No, no, no. <laughs> Wait, hold on. No. God damn. Okay, y'all out here. Shit, y'all shitting on babies now? What the fuck? Yeah, fuck them kids. God damn. <laughs> Nobody is safe Shit. from two girls, one blood. <laughs> this how I'm trying to tell you women they they are self-centered you know what I mean <laughs> tell me about everything man fuck them babies oh my god <laughs> damn Shit. oh my god so wait so no. you don't believe in participation trophies at no all. that's stupid but, so what if he's not like capable enough to like be talented or just like be in a game or just like be uh, contribute to them winning right uh-huh. but he's there every day perfect attendance you don't think he deserves it Anything? He doesn't. Yeah, get- he deserves to be on the team. But I'm saying, so he at a banquet when they have all the awards, yeah. and he gets the participation trophy. You saying fuck that? I'd throw him out. 
but he. Okay. But it's like <laughs> no, I'm think just about kidding. It, like okay, if you're in a corporate office yeah. and you're like, if you're in a, <laughs> if, if you're in a corporate office, there's like something called President's Club for like the top sales rep, right? Like the right. top two sales rep. Like the other sales reps don't get participation trophies or like free trips because they like made some sales, which is the bare minimum expectation of being a part of that team and that organization. I can understand that. So like it sets them up for the real world where like you're not gonna get like even in stand up comedy, like you're gonna eat shit. You have to eat shit to grow. It's a part of the real world. And if you're given a trophy for every good thing that you do and a parent coddles you and they're like, You're such a good boy, you're gonna grow up thinking your shit's ice cream and that you don't have to work as hard to get fucking noticed. Okay, let's just let's just like (laughs) <laughs> dissect everything she said. <laughs> For one, they're fucking adults selling cars, okay? <laughs> Little ass kids. You want, like, God damn. And for one, it was like, work work hard. You ain't got to do shit. Don't let this girl tell you you got to work hard. Fuck no, you don't. Men, we got to work hard. If you're a woman and you have titties and a fat ass, it's going to be so easy. And you cute, it's going to be so easy for Even you. Even if you don't have a but fat you ass. Just Even compl- if you're a, yeah. You just complimented us for doing all this stuff and how we hustle. Yeah. We're working hard. Of the course. titties and ass may make it easier to get noticed, but there still requires work and effort to be noticed. I, get, I hear and what you're saying. And 10 times saying. more work to be a woman and of be course. taken seriously as a woman by men who dominate the cannabis industry and the comedy community. Suck it. I agree. I agree. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you don't have to necessarily work. Like, for for one, you're saying you got to work hard. You got to do all this. The game has changed right now. Like, I know a kid right now that's on YouTube making millions by opening presents. Yeah. Okay. So, the, it, working hard, it, you got to be, you got to work hard in your certain specific field that you do. Can we agree? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. But if you, if you just like, you cute, if you're a beautiful girl, she can be like a housewife or she can be, Dude, it's not that easy to be a housewife. Otherwise, I'd be... Whose dick do I have to suck to be a housewife around here? And actually get taken care of. Like, actually be taken care of and invest in my business. Like, goddamn, it's not that easy. Man, y'all out here, man. They out here. They want us compliant. They want us to be quiet. Nah, these Nigerian men, they be out here doing a lot, man. Y'all just just looking at the wrong dicks. Y'all got to start looking into the right. I haven't looked at any dicks in a year. Oh, salute to you. That's He's been celibate for for a year. Oh, shit. Yeah. Why? I got out of a really bad relationship, and yeah. I was like, I choose with my vagina. I need to start choosing with my head. Oh, man. That's... Yeah, because sometimes you get into that toxic dick. Yeah. And every, toxic every, every dude watching this podcast is like, oh, my God, this shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, that's what's up, though. I get it. Self, self-love self is mm. very Have important. you ever had a period of celibacy? What the fuck? Okay, let's just get this out the way. I come in. And she says, I looked at your Instagram profile and you look like you're toxic. How am I toxic? Okay, but your bio literally says I'm not toxic. Because I get women judging me <laughs> off of, like how you did, off of the first like encounter with me. Like you toxic. Okay, but I didn't get that context. All I saw was yeah. I'm not toxic and I thought you're toxic. It, it was oh. like the, it says comedian, <laughs> yeah. I swear I'm not toxic is what it says. Yeah. And I, that's some like coy boy, cute boy being like, I swear I'm not toxic, girl. Come here. Like, yeah. Let me lay down that pipe. Oh my what? God. I, I do not. Let me walk you to your car after a comedy show. I just want to make sure she get home safely. That's all I'm trying to do. Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. I had a period of celibacy. Uh, yeah, of course. Of course. Now, the longest I think I went was, how long are you? A Two year? weeks? Are you? Yeah, I'm a year. How long have you went without sex? Um, I think I did like eight or nine months. How the fuck women? Well, I did sixteen years. <laughs> sixteen years? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I um, did that too. <laughs> Thirteen years then, if you want to do it like that. No, okay. but how long? How long was your actual period of celibacy? My actual period. Yeah, the period you get once a month <laughs> <laughs> when you don't get your dick hot or your dick wet. <laughs> I, it be it be women. I I be celibate. Women want want me to break it. <laughs> yeah. I be celibate. Mm-hmm. So yeah, they're just when, begging. <laughs> So how long were you celibate before you still haven't answered the question? I mean, like, uh, <laughs> like, I mean, like, yo, like one month. Nah, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, a month. Yeah, a month. A month. Yeah. No, it's, now it's okay. I was a hoe. Okay. So. There it is. There, like, do you I know was a hoe with, and that's right. why I had to be celibate. It was no. like, why do you keep choosing toxic men? So like. What describes you as a hoe, though? Like, what are you doing? No, I wasn't a hoe. I just, yeah. like, like to have sex. And I, like, sometimes... Yeah. I would rather have, like, a hookup buddy than... But I'm, like, a relationship girl. 
Every this is really confusing. That. Every girl say that. Man. I just think, you know, validation. <laughs> no one wants to admit it when they're in it. And then you yeah. look back as you heal. And I think I needed male validation to feel loved and desired. And I wanted a boyfriend to, like, fix me and save me from the fact that, like, I didn't have a close family life mm. and, like, what the child to trauma. Mm. And so then as I'm healing all of that and I'm like, fuck these boyfriends who have been cheating on me. Like, my life, it needs to change. So then I chose to be celibate. But no, I, you know, I've been... I've been fucking. Street. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I be fuck? fucking. All the time. They, man, celibacy is nothing. They just putting that pussy on a break. They putting that pussy on yeah. ice. That's all they doing. And then when they get it off, they going to be. I have my best friend. My best friend's a home. Like, she's, like, was, like, had a little whole face. Because she was going through, like, the dude messed her up so bad. So she was like, I need to, like, chill. Because I'm chasing the dick that I want. I want. Yeah. It's, not, it's not there anymore. So she was just fucking and fucking and fucking. And then she went celibate for, like, a I think like a year. And then she, that one guy that she was like, man, I'm a break. And he ain't shit. So I was like, yo, <laughs> you just put the pussy on ice. Oh, no. it's like, now she's fucking again. But I, I, I don't understand the celibacy part. Like, what is, what are you trying to do? Like, like mentally, like, or what are you trying to just like? Sexual uh, energy is a creative energy. Like that fucking energy when you like feel like you need a masturbate or you're horny as fuck. Imagine if you took that and channeled it into something else. Also, the time that you take to message girls, to DM them, to find them on fucking Tinder, yeah. to like take them on dates just so you can fuck. Like you waste a lot of time and on the people, money. on fuck. people you don't give a fuck about, on people yeah. you don't align with just so you can have sex. And I was like, I, I want to build something. Yeah. I don't want to fucking be poor anymore. I want to like have a name, you know. And so sometimes you just got to you got to put the pussy well, nice. on ice. There it is. There you it know? is. That should, yeah. a, that should be a T-shirt. Put the pussy on ice for a little bit. Build your business and then take your strong, powerful, empowered fucking coochie and then mm. fuck everyone with your power. Oh, shit. Well, Just like men do. Nah, I, I have a friend that he goes on dates like on with the girls. Like say you and him, well, I got a friend for you, right? And y'all go finally go on a date. Instead of wasting each other's time, he'll put like $700 on the table. $700 on the table. Like, yo, look. He hires hookers. Well, I don't know. I just, listen, so he was like $700 on the table. He was like, you, we can leave right now and fuck and just get it over with, right? Or we can stay and get to know each other. And then the more you talk, he'd be like, all right, let me go and take it. He'll take like $100 away or something like that. I was like, oh, shit, that's all. Like, oh, you don't give a head the first night? Let me take $300 off. My God. So that, that kind of sh- <laughs> I would walk out immediately. I would walk out immediately. Like, that goodbye. drives my coochie up. That's here's, not hot. <laughs> that shit was good. When he told me that, that's some crazy. Oh, wait, hey, is he like on one of the, the fresh and that's fit guys? <laughs> nah, I don't, I, don't, I don't listen to them. Did you know? Were you on their podcast? Nah, they posted. They uh, posted my skit, and they had uh, they had like them talking about it and all that. So they DM me and they gave me my shout out and shit like that. So I was like, okay. I appreciate mm-hmm. that. I was like, at least y'all can shout me out if y'all gonna use my skit. So. Yeah, you do a lot of good, like, comedy content. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I like y'all. it. Yeah. I was going through it. It's thank a lot you. about relationships or, like, yeah. toxic ex. I swear I'm not toxic, <laughs> but somehow I have so much experience that I can make it really relatable. Well, I have a lot of friends that are toxic. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I just, I'm vicariously living through them. You're you living know? through their toxicity. Yeah, exactly. They give me ideas like, bro, you should be. So What are you doing That's to smart. heal right now? <clears throat> what I do to heal? Mm-hmm. I don't think I'm hurt. Sure. <laughs> I don't think I'm hurt, but if I do heal, uh, <laughs> fellas, if you do want to do some healing, like you don't have to be celibate. Just learn yourself, bro. Just you know what I mean. You Start can still treat- fuck. You can still don't fuck, worry. but treat women white. A lot of these dudes not treating women right. That's why y'all out here like suffering and shit. How do you treat a woman right? Oh uh, shit, you gotta listen. That's a, I think that's the first and most important part, guys. I want to say listen. No, listen and just like wait till they finish. Stop talking. Then you say yeah. something. Just comprehend what they saying. And then, that makes sense. Uh, bro, yeah, I'm trying. I always tell dudes you can listen into some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, yeah. yeah. If you, if I'm just talking about myself, and you're like, yeah, that's so interesting. Yo. I'm gonna be like, wow, he likes me so much. You kind of fuck. See, <laughs> just listen. Just, it's the, if you want to play the long game, let, let let her be like, yo, I'm gonna get the guy with the money and all oh, with the fast. Listen, cars. Nope. actively listen and ask questions. If yeah. you're the one asking questions, it makes yep. it seem like you're interested. So it's more than just listening. Because mm-hmm. if you're not talking, we're gonna think you're really boring. Then you gotta drop like a little advice too. In the middle of that, just say something powerful. And- <laughs> I'm an alpha. Yeah, you'd be like, yo, listen, we listen. The world wouldn't be real without a woman. Because listen, you birthed us. 
So you know what I mean? Don't let them go put that pussy on a pedestal. <laughs> Boy, you she be like, you right. You be right. She be like, right. And then she like, no, she ain't gonna look at you like that because you know you the homie. But I'm trying to say you gonna start wearing her down. You gonna one of these wearing. You gonna wear her down. <laughs> he's let it, he's exposing himself what? as he talks. What? What? Are so you're that like persistent where you keep following up? What are you t- yeah, you have. I to get him real comfortable, and then he yeah he jokes around and then and he, he waits, right and then finally dead. one day she's like, you know what? Fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like where this conversation is going. I don't like it at all. Put it on us then. Give it back. Okay, well, well, listen. What what makes what makes a guy turn like? Listen, I'm I'm speaking for the fellas, by the way. So if oh. I'm asking questions, I'm asking from a fan's perspective. All right. Okay. Okay. What makes a guy to say like, "Yo, how can I get Emily or Jamie in the bed?" Right. Like, because at the end of the day, that's I'm gonna just be honest. Men think with our dicks when we first mm-hmm. meet you, and you know that. So you being celibate. But celibate, you're not about to meet a guy like, oh, let me see where our intellect is. No, no, we're not about to do that. So, <laughs> what if somebody was ready for like a serious relationship? Yeah, and they're at the point. He's like, but, but I think, I think honestly, the faster you fuck with some, like, I, this is my personal preference. The faster y'all have sex, the more you, you can see, like, oh, I, I can have a serious relationship with someone because all you're doing is holding out. Right, we men are patient. Like I told you, we can listen into some pussy. You and we could change overnight. So and then that next thing you know, you you're you're but, in that same pattern of men ain't shit. I'm sorry. Let, okay, let me give devil's advocate. Okay, more so like female advocate. Go ahead. There's so there's a lot of girls who do do that. There's a lot of girls who will like fuck right away. Like that's not uncommon. A lot yeah, of women of do it. Shout out to them women, beautiful queens, <laughs> yeah. queens to my eyes. Mm-hmm. Wow. Thank you. And that's what I'm talking about, Jamie. But, but that was how I used to be, and I would fuck into a relationship. Okay. And I remember one of my exes at the time when we were fucking. He was like, "This isn't how good relationships start." And I was like, "What well, the fuck does he know?" Well, we were toxic. Like I said, that's why I'm exactly. celibate. Don't, don't listen to this lame man. But dude. that's I did what you said. I fucked into a relationship. And no, neither of them ended well. You can't keep fucking though. You gotta like you have to put, stop fucking them. Nah, it's, you get it's, in a relationship. All right, this what I, this will attract me, right? And I had like uh, some pussy that was like for three years. I was like, damn, but she was. <laughs> did you <clears throat> did you commit to her? I committed because it was always Why'd the reason. You? The reason why I committed is because I felt like I can lose her at any moment. And guys, it's like it's put like this: if we get the pussy right, we beat the video game. Right, just think about that. Yeah. It's like that we at the final level, we beat the video game. Why, if we beat the video game, why would we want to go back and play the game all over again? We know exactly what that level is. We know how to beat the. We already know the moves, the final boss. So, in order to, <laughs> I'm, I'm just being honest right now. Okay. My man's like, okay, cool. If we already got the pussy, so how do we keep them? Like, how do we keep? How'd us, she keep you on your toes? Keep me on the toes. So what she did was she was just like. Every day, she just like she she act like a man to me. I was like, "What the fuck?" Like she was doing shit. Like I had to check in, calling, but it was balanced. Though it wasn't toxic. It was just mm-hmm. more so. She was like, "I'm busy. I have shit to do. You have your own shit, right?" I'm a boss woman. I'm doing yes. my shit. I'm gonna check in with you and all that. It keep it. I'm like, damn, because I'm so used to women just like being underneath me after I get mm-hmm. the pussy. Like, oh, let's do it again and all. Like, nah. She was like, look, I get the dick when I want it. I was like, oh shit. But when do I want to give it to you? I'm like, yo, but then, so you have other girls calling you, but you want that Pacific pussy mm-hmm. because it's like, man, I, I, I can't beat this game anymore. It's like, oh, this is some, I didn't see this move before, you this know what I mean? Hard. So this is harder. So that's why you got to keep them intrigued. And so you fuck them right away, but then you play hard to get after you fuck them. You want to so, hurt the, you want to keep them around. You be like, your dick is all right. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, wait. Whoa. What your the dick f- is all right? Yeah. She it, said that to you? No, hell no. <laughs> The fuck? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. You gotta treat them like that. Dick. Even if it was the best dick you ever had, you gotta like that dick is all right. And I guarantee you, and then I just watch. Move the fuck along. You, you are, you have all your shit. He gonna be seeing you. He gonna be on your page. Be like, hey, I just want to take you out tonight and stuff like that. You be like, look, he sees everything. You a boss, so act like one. A lot of these women, when they get the dick, first off gate, you be like, oh man, when am gonna see you again and all that? Nah, mm-hmm. man, just keep him on the toes. Act like you the boss. You the dude. Yeah, you. Dominate. I mean, that's. That's kind of what we we talk about all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you. you can't be too available if you're like super available. Ugh. Like if you fuck a dude right away and then you like want to stay all day. Like the biggest mistake you can do is meeting someone, fucking them, and like hanging out for three days in a row. Oh, You'll God. never see that man again. Oh shit! You'll never right. See how that water bottle fell. That's how your relationship <laughs> gonna fall if you do some stupid shit like that. Three days? Hell no! Nah. I we see in people prison? who are like, I went on a date and I haven't been home yet in like a week, and like, I'm like, what? how? And they're like, but he's so great. And I'm like, that man, literally, I don't know what he needs or he's going through something or it's just easy, 
fucking available pussy for a week. Yeah. Like, because you're not going to stay with him. It's pussy all, just, if you open, I remember in the old days where you had to, like, look at pussy on a VCR or, 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 or like a DVD or something. You, you used to like, look at pussy at a, on a VCR? Hell yeah, man. I was a, <laughs> How old are you? How old are you? I'm 30. Okay. Oh. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like VCR, you know what I mean? I, I I lost my virginity at 13 in Louisiana. I was young. I'll just be honest. Older chick took it from me. Oh, yeah. so you're a victim. <clears throat> I, I think I was. I think I was. I, if I don't want to talk about it, but you know, she was, a, she was an older chick, and I was like, man, I want it, but I'm, I'm nervous, and she just kind of took control. I was like, wait, 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 but then it started feeling good, and I was like, All How right. much older? Uh, that she, is she assault. A, <laughs> you deserve Are you better. okay? Nah, I'm great. You want a uh, hug? <laughs> nah, nah, I'm good. Uh, nah, I don't want to say I was right. Uh, I, 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 want, I wanted it. I wanted it. I don't want to. <laughs> we'll cut all of that. I was about we'll, to say, I don't want to go fund me, we'll but like, <laughs> you so hurt. Oh my God. Get this man Get therapy. Get this man therapy. What the? F- That's why he's talking like this. He was like. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> nah, <laughs> I wasn't right, but. I, <laughs> So Do your parents it. ever just Welcome like look at you? Welcome to the Two Girls, One Boy podcast. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I feel like this is like when your this parents are like, one day they're like, yeah, we were evicted 20 times. I never had a real home. Oh, and that woman who was like 40 years older than me, yeah, she fucked me when I was 12. Like that, I feel oh, like that's what I just shit. heard. No, don't I hear, hear that. those stories don't all hear the time. Yeah. Well, well, I was in Louisiana and that's all you can do is fuck down there. I'll tell you, I'll tell you a true story. And I said this on other po- podcasts. <laughs> fuck your cousins. <laughs> they fuck everybody. They fuck every- Well, I stayed away from cousins. But I'll tell you, the first time I sucked titties is I had to pay for them. It was a, I was in the sixth grade. Oh, this is a great story. How much was it? Oh, uh, it was 50 cent to lick. I mean, 50 cent to grab a dollar to suck. This is before OnlyFans. This girl, this she had- This is the OG OnlyFans. OG. Wow. She was a sixth grader with grown woman titties, and she knew it. So what she did was, she would like, behind the bungalows, like, uh, she would like charge. She'd have like a whole little line, and like little little dudes, it'd be like 13 seconds. And when she done, she just wipe her titties, no hand sanitizer, no nothing. She'll wipe her titties like, next, and- I remember I I remember I wanted to suck mm. some titties. I didn't want to go alone. And my, my <laughs> of other course, friend, you bring your friend. You bring my friend. You each but sucked my, on a titty. Hey, Jamie, you want to go but, suck some titties? But it, he was poor though, so so I had to beg my mom. She was like, <laughs> what? $2. Yeah, she was like, boy, you hungry this month? Yeah, you because know? she thinking she's paying for school lunch. So I starved for some titties. <gasps> so I bought my friend and that was sweet of you to I, buy your friend some titties. I bought my friend some titties. Here's the bad part: he was killing it. Right off, off my dollar, yeah. So when she tapped the back of your head, I mean your time is done, right? So I remember I was sucking on one titty and he was sucking on him, and then she was like feeling like that nigga was good. I don't know how the fuck he began. He must have sucked on some titties before me. He lied to me. All right, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to tell you, but but anyway, so we sucking. So she tapped my head. And I'm looking. I'm like, oh, she didn't tap here, so I still sucking. She tapping my head. I'm like, oh, she was like, man, come on, come on, it's your time. I was like, nah. So I ran the light. It, that's the comic, comedy, comic in me. So I'm sucking. Next thing you know, she she trying to pull me off. I'm like, well, and then I just fucked up the whole line. And, I, and yeah, dudes tried to get me in a fight. I was like, man, you fucked up for all of us. So yeah, shout out to her. And then you know, people start talking. These girls with no titties, flat titties, start hating on her. So they start telling her They're like, mad. yeah. So what she did was she had to change locations. Like she, some days she'll be by the gym. <laughs> So a whole be a whole game fucking game and operation. Do you remember her they name? Cannot, I, I tried to look for her. What is she doing now? It is was at Westdale only... Middle. I'm pretty sure she has like. She has to be an entrepreneur. She has, yeah. She has to have kids or something like that. But yeah, she was an OG. That was the first time I sucked Damn. titties and I paid for it. My homie did a better job than me. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Off, a... off of my money. I was so hurt. I, my titties are dead. These fucking things, I feel nothing. You see? Yeah. Imagine like. Can he, you if do, a guy's can sucking do? my titty, I'm literally like. Like, 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 some, like some, but I'm saying you, you go, had to, two different guys on one titty, like a piglet. Yo, that's my wet dream. That sounds great. <laughs> they're sucking my titties and they're both fucking me. Oh, uh, see, she was doing that in sixth grade. What were you doing? That no, time? I wasn't. I was a bird. No, I'm talking about a girl. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh I wish I had thought of that. And when you was younger, th- yeah, she was like, listen, because she she came from a low income household, so she had to make way. So I, I remember she used it. to walk away like, what? I'm talking about money. And I, the whole time I was thinking when I got older, I was like, why nobody robbed her? <laughs> like, I was thinking, like, I would have robbed her ass. Oh, oh, my God. She used to leave, swear to God, back in the day. And now, you know, $20 used to go a long time, mm-hmm. a long way back in the day. She used to have, like, $25, $30 a day. What? I swear to God. We horny. horny bo- Listen, Boys, six, yeah. six, seven, and eight graders, she didn't give a fuck. You didn't have the internet back then, did you? 
Yeah, it was, but we wasn't on it like that. Yeah. Like, you know, you Google naked women, you have like that little 18 years or older thing will <laughs> pop up. That's how old that shit was. Damn. Like, Holy shit. Yeah. Congratulations. Salute, salute to her, though. But yeah, that was the first time. So, so what was the first time y'all sucked titties? Oh, <laughs> sucked titty? Um, I was about, I would say, two days old. Okay. Salute. And I just latched. Yeah. <laughs> Never stopped. Never stopped. Been been in the game ever since since birth. <laughs> since the womb to the tomb. Let's... I came out the womb sucking titties. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't hey, never gonna stop. Shit, they gotta suck titties now. They Yo, my, up, my dad was uh, fat, so I probably mm. sucked his titties too. Oh shit. Okay, it, it, Eric. Yeah, that's that some was... kinky shit right there. Shit, I didn't know. It's just, We're I talking know. about cousin fucking. <laughs> gotta worry about you over here. <laughs> Yo, she said that's my was brother, fat. by the way. Oh, it's, your, it's your brother? Yeah, he's listening oh. to all this conversation. Oh, my bad, bro. I didn't even know. My bad, bro. I apologize. No, no, no. no. I didn't even he's, know, bro. He's used to it. He's Older brother or younger brother? Younger. A younger? Ah, uh, you ain't shit, Jamie. What? Yeah, you your younger brother. He's, he's old. Nah. He's I'm helping him 18. out. You helping him out? Yeah, he's getting paid. Oh, salute then. Get that money. He's been bro. setting everything up while we like are able to talk to the guests so that I we're not doing that. Uh, I couldn't listen to my sister be like, yo, I... All my sisters are more successful than me. Like one is a doctor, one is a <laughs> lawyer, and the other is uh she's a, like a, a, I think she works at a school. She lives in Louisiana, but all my sisters are way more successful. So if I ever hear like a dude just be like punishing my sister, I get mad. Like nigga, you you think you me? Are you trying to <laughs> trying to live off my sister? What the fuck? Yeah, I get mad, yo. It's hard for <laughs> successful women though to date. I know, yeah. Cause well, like, oh man. I give them a perfect example of a guy they don't want to be with, so I'm like, yeah. So just, you're toxic. No, I'm not. To- you keep I, saying. Uh, so why why keep would coming back? Why wouldn't a girl want to be with you? <laughs> uh, why wouldn't you want your sisters to date a guy like you? Cause it's like, I was I, I, at thirty. You're still mm-hmm. trying to find yourself. Mm-hmm. No, but mm-hmm. 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 look, Emily. Think, what is the? Mm-hmm. That was a lot. That was obsessive. I think society's expectations for like when you're supposed to have things done or like what you're supposed to be doing at a certain age is that's kind of outdated now. Mm-hmm. Like there's a lot of 30 year olds. Like I feel like 30 is so young. Like is, yeah. I feel like you're still like figuring shit out. Like I'm 28 mm-hmm. and I'm literally like I have. Like, I hang out with people much younger than me because of the industry that I'm in. So, like, I have a wide range, like, age of friends between, like, fucking 45 to 21. Or, like, somebody who's 20. Like, we're hanging out with girls who are 20 and they're TikTokers and they're coming to events with us. And I'm like, this is crazy because we're all in the same space. So, and also comedy, it's a long game. Like, It it, it takes a lot of experience and a lot of dedication and, like, but once I feel like it's so rewarding, and that's if you don't do stand-up comedy, you won't ever fucking know what what it's like to want to be on that stage and be fucking good. Mm-hmm. You know why are you look confused? No, nah, I just I was wiggling my boot. And he was, was judging me. She was doing some shit, but yeah, no. Nah, <laughs> You're not even high. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, I'm high as fucking. I'm like, he's giving me a dirty look. No, no, no I, was looking, I was looking. She did the little like her leg was getting like sh- amputated or some shit. <laughs> Yeah, she had a fake leg the whole time. But you know, you can't shortcut this kind of, you know, stand up game because yeah. there's no cheat. You got to learn from experience, you know, different kind yeah. of crowds. And uh, some your material can't, it might not work that night. So you got to learn how to improv. You got to deal with the crowd. It might be a fight in the audience. You got to bring in attention. It's a lot to yeah. do stand up. So you got to deal with all this situation. And all, I think the all hardest thing, too, you know. for comedians, especially male comedians, is like it's really hard to make money in comedy. Fuck you. It's so hard to make money in comedy. <laughs> Fuck you. It's hard to make money in podcasts. Like, exactly. you got to build it. Like, but you, like, you have a social media following. Like, appreciate that. You've done a lot of things. Like, you have a Thank name you. for yourself. A you, little bit. <laughs> you He's have your own too. podcast. He's humble. Yeah. He's like, oh, tell me more. Tell so, me more. Like, <laughs> so, that's nah. like a good thing. You know what I mean? Like, that shows that you're doing it. And I think that, uh, Somebody like the right person will see that. Thank you. Well, it's no blueprint to this shit. No, you know, like I hate, I hate when I get the DMs. I'm pretty sure y'all get them as well for like young women that trying to like find themselves. Like, how do I start? I'm like, yo, I don't have. I hate to give that answer because everyone journey, everyone's journey is different. So if yeah. I tell you, I can tell you how I did it, and you try to follow that blueprint and fucking fall in your face. So yeah. you just gotta learn and just get. I say the first step if you if you finding if you want to do it, just fucking do it. Just try it. Just try it. And just I, try. Even with the skits, I started doing skits last year, and then when I first did the first one, and then the second one, then the third one, and then it just started coming because you start to get better and better and better. Now you're trying to master that certain skill and requirement of that. We I feel like I have that. a. Uh, I feel like I have a block. 
I want to do like skits and yeah. I want to do that shit. And I'm just like, there's something. And I'm like, I can't even think of an idea right now. But we have so many ideas written down. So many ideas, just like POV this, like whatever. Just fucking do it. I'm trying to tell you, like, just do it. Like, my thing is, I love to do stuff that other guys can't do. So you might see me in a Walmart. You might see me in a fucking 18 wheeler. You might see me in a class, in a school with kids. Like, you might see me with different kind of, because in LA, my brothers are game bangers. So they have, my pops is, uh, like, he, he was in the streets, but, like, he was never really like that in the streets because he had a family around us. So before he had his family, he was really in the streets. So he has connects around L.A. So if I tell him I, I need something, I want to film something, he'd be like, all right, let's go. I'll talk to somebody. I'm like, God damn. So <laughs> I that's, love that. <laughs> that's how, that, but that, and then it's just like, oh, funny experience. So, you know, you can go to a school be like, oh, prom dates or something. This is how you do in prom. Mm. But it's fun. It's just like reliving. And also, it's a real for the industry. If they see yeah. you in skits, they'd be like, oh, look at that. You know, so you never yeah. know what it's leading. And plus, TikTok, I saw a girl. This is how I knew TikTok wasn't shit. <laughs> I saw a girl just doing cosplay, and she had a fat ass and some big titties. Yep. And she got five, six million followers, and that's some bullshit. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I, I I got a couple costumes, too. And I dressed <laughs> up as my fucking Spider-Man outfit. That shit only had 23 views. I had to delete that shit. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you have your titties out? Well, I had, like, this pex. So I was just like. Yeah, you got to do like the one up, one down thing. The one, oh yeah, the little mm -hmm. thing. Oh, I man. think the days though of doing like just bland, repetitive content are over. Facts. So like, it, there's a lot of Instagram models who try to make the transition to TikTok and realize that they had to have a fucking personality, and they're mm -hmm. like not doing well. Mm -hmm. There's ones that have transitioned and they did really well doing like trending songs and things like that, but now the algorithm's no longer. Pro Long, no longer prioritizing those so you have to literally do your own audio and yep. do kind of like comedy sketches or your own type of like specific content there's mm -hmm. ways to do it specifically with marketing it's hard it's a lot of fucking work oh facts it's it's the thing about the algorithm is if i hate it but if you find if you put out dope content the the algorithm is going to find you mm -hmm. so so I, I i we hate the algorithm but if you're doing your own thing and then you have like a certain engagement and it's just like people are starting to do it a little paper plane, sharing and sharing. The mm -hmm. algorithm will find you. But, oh, then they put you more and more on yeah. people's explore page. So I, I learned that as well. Once you find the formula, you just yeah. got to keep hammering away it's, at it. it. That's what I'm saying. It's no fucking recipe to this shit. All I say is just have fun. Because people, yeah. that translate on camera. When you having fun, For it's, sure. it's just like, oh, shit. It, like, if I see you having fun, something about that video makes me want to watch it. Like, I want to have fun, too. I want to you know? have fun with exactly. you. Exactly. That's why, you ever want, notice, like, why these all these fitness models and fitness people get, like, so many followers? Because they is like, yo, uh, like a person like me or someone like, I don't feel like going to the gym. And then you see this fucking half-naked motherfucker in some shorts built up in a tank and doing all that stuff and it looks good and he's motivating you. You're like, some people need that. So mm -hmm. then we follow him and like, yeah. like the video. So you never know. For sure. Yeah. I think people's energy completely comes off. You can tell when someone's being fake. You can tell when oh, someone's yeah. putting on an act or playing a character. Trying too hard. Trying too hard. Yeah, you can words. tell when someone's not being like themselves. Yeah. And then also just... I don't even fucking know. Yeah, I don't no. even know what we are. We're both so lost right now. And we're what? doing the podcast. We love comedy. I'm uh -huh. like, I do stand up. She wants to get into stand up. Congrats. So then there's this thing. I feel like there's a stigma in comedy and it's a little bit less. And maybe this was just like where I started in comedy, mm -hmm. but like that you have to do just stand up. And so like, I want to do everything. Like I want to do podcasting. I want to do acting. I want to do sketches. I want to do TikToks. I want to be a fucking hot ass bitch. Mm -hmm. Like I want to do OnlyFans. I want to do whatever the fuck I want and like have my page be catered to that. But then it's harder with the algorithm. Because yeah. you need to find a niche so that you can find your formula to go viral. Yeah. yeah. And you kind of have to stick with that. So it's just like, I won't, there's so much to do. Mm -hmm. And it sucks that it tries to put you in one box. Well, yeah. I think you can. I think it's the 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 beautiful thing about having social media is to find to figure it out in front of people. Like right now, it's not a lot of eyes on you. No disrespect, but it's yeah. not like the eyes mm -hmm. that you want on you, mm -hmm. right? So when you start trying stuff and then you find something, you start going with it. Then you continue to like like kill it because look, if you putting your content everywhere on like Facebook, YouTube, OnlyFans, Snapchat, uh, TikTok, I all that. One of these motherfuckers is going to hit. I'm mm -hmm. talking about consistently. And then you're going to start getting paid. And then that next thing, when that one hits, you cater to that. Like, oh, they like this. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Because why would you want to 
do something, you we be all over the place. You're like, what what the fuck am I watching? Yeah. You know, I, I follow Emily because I know she's going to do this. I follow Jamie because I know she wants to do this. And then it's like, oh, okay, I see her personality and what she's like what, dressing up as a basketball player or whatever. And then you're making jokes. They find you because you're funny. You, you, yeah. you They follow. Your fans just want to go on a journey with you. That's yeah. all they want to do. That's why they That's follow true. you. They don't, and you have some haters that just follow you because they want to look at you. But they also want to go on a journey you as well with you. So You're just yeah. angry about being dragged along on the journey. Like, <laughs> Fuck you. I gotta, yeah, but they, but they, gonna, but, but it's I'm your journey go. exactly. So when you're trying to figure out, like, I don't know what to do, man. Fucking just do it. Yeah. Find it out. Just find it out. Do it. If you keep trying to say it, like I don't know what to do, but you have stuff written down, one of one of motherfuckers gonna hit, and you be like, damn, I should have been doing this months ago. Yeah, you know that's all yeah. There was step. there was definitely periods of time where we were doing like TikToks and we were both doing really well and grew really fast. Like, yeah. like there was a time period I gained two hundred fifty thousand followers in a weekend. God, what were you doing? That shit. <laughs> what, what was your hashtag? You it was about all, it was I was teaching OnlyFans, right? So yeah. then I got like this woman. But here's the issue: I got a huge audience for a video that's not related to the kind of content that I want to put out what? all the time. It what? was like how to teach girls how to make money on OnlyFans. So why don't you just like do like some like how to teach people just like in, like doing stupid shit? Though. I was doing that so I could make money off of webinars to pay my taxes because I didn't have enough money to make my taxes. So I was like, I have oh, a shit. couple months. I'm gonna owe thirty five thousand dollars, forty grand, and I have five grand in my bank account. What the fuck do I do? So oh, I got shit. on TikTok because I knew you could you could literally get fast views. I was like, here's how you make money on OnlyFans, and I did it exactly how you would set up a viral video. And on Thanksgiving, I posted probably like thirty five videos in a day. It was one million, one million, one million million like five million like all of my things boom my page grew overnight i had all these women who wanted to do only fans created a whole webinar series right. charge people set up a website like shopify and then i did oh for two God. weeks straight ran webinars and i made like how much money did i make off those i don't know like 10 grand 15 grand seven grand seven what grand fuck, it's funny i don't know here, a it's lot of money but then that money just went right straight to taxes yeah but still you 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 should be looking at the bigger picture. Like, okay, you you had a taste of it. Mm -hmm. You should have been like, I'm just gonna continue to put videos out. Videos we out. did, and then we started the podcast. The podcast yeah. takes is literally know, a full time job. I know, it's trust me. so draining. You have your own. Yeah, we, but but it's still you gotta. I, I used to be like that as well. But how many times do y'all shoot your podcast a, a week? Uh, once, once. Yeah, once. I do once as well. But we're doing like ten this week ten, in a row. Oh, yeah, so yeah. this is our second. We have another one. Mm -hmm. Right after this, and you're just gonna keep, so you're just gonna put all those out in a, a periodic time, and then you're just gonna start doing like once skits. a week, yeah, and then so we can focus on actually like growing our social media, growing yeah. an audience. That's where mm -hmm. it is, and then it helps us push out because now we don't have a social media person. We have to post all that content, so we're making, we're mass producing, we're trying to be like kings of content, like Gary mm -hmm. V style. We're like all of a sudden we have everyone like guests on our podcast. Mm -hmm. We're seen everywhere and you're like, how the fuck, who are these girls and how have I been seeing them everywhere? Like, yeah. that's marketing. That's facts, yes. But Because listen, if you putting your, if you're doing podcast skits, comedy, stand up, and like a video or some or someone else's video being other people's skits, yeah. the more stuff, the more they see you, the more, that's how, I, like I, I told my friend and the more we starting to see like, uh, how we just like starting to take off, and I was like, bro, just more and more, and now other people gonna start reaching out. Ooh. Then you gonna start getting like followers, like dudes you never thought, like an NBA yeah. player, NBA player. I'm still, hey Milton, motherfucker, you should have won that last game. I wanted tickets. But, uh, <laughs> but I'm just saying, it just, it just it's a great feeling when people start to recognize and see what you're doing, and like, bro, keep it up, keep it up, because then you're not just putting yourself in a box. You're doing like so many other things, yeah. And now you have a damn machine. And one of these days. You having a podcast where I can only have to focus on that. The podcast is a machine. Oh, I don't have to focus yeah. on the skits. It already got like 30 of them. That's a machine. I'm going to make money. Mm -hmm. now, yeah. I'm, now I'm like making passive income. So just we at the times right now where it's flat. It's yeah. the hardest part. <laughs> you know what I mean? But <laughs> we're going to remember the hardest part and then it's going to become so easy. So yeah. that's what it is. Have <laughs> you been like taken care of by a woman, like a strong woman? Yeah. like uh, Oh. Yeah. Back in the day though. Back in the day. Not, uh, okay. not now. But yeah, you know, I have to... A lot of guys. I used to be a hobosexual. You know what I mean? A hobosexual. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like you know, you, you like you, you fuck to find a place yeah. to stay. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yo, I've done it's that a before. Bit, it's a little bit, but it's dangerous though. <laughs> like once these women, these women are freaky as hell. So you can't tell you can't tell them no. You can't talk shit when you living under their roof. So they be all they fucking fantasies and all that shit they be hearing about at work. They'll try with your little ass, and you be like, God damn, what the fuck? Like they try to do butt stuff to you. Fuck no. They oh. do like, uh, 
I don't know, one girl like had me suck like lick feet and all that shit. I'm like, Ugh. you didn't like you don't like feet? Nah, man, I had athlete's tongue after that. So I was like, oh, oh no, you didn't. Oh. I did, man. No, you Stop didn't. It, really? Athlete's tongue. Yeah. You talk about hand, foot, and mouth all the time. He's I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. You fucking piece of shit. Fucking <laughs> bullshitter. <laughs> <laughs> I do not condone being a hobo sexual. I mean, that's that's. But I, again, like no, yo. I've definitely. I was homeless, and I, I couldn't stay in a place, and I hit up a dude from fucking Bumble that was like kind of a friend, but like kind of we were talking. I don't know. And I was like, "What are you doing tonight?" Wanna have a sleepover? <laughs> he said, Hell yeah. I stayed over and then uh of course I sucked did. his dick. And then I slept I left and he bought me dinner. Sorry, nice. Dave. <laughs> That's not bad. God but damn, yeah. Right in front of your brother. That's some, this whoa. is the podcast. This is the thing. He's Shit. recorded with us before. Damn, right. You see his next door hurt and he was like, What the fuck? My sister be doing? She could have called me. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? She be I think she just wanted to suck this. He, <laughs> he can't even say shit. I walked in on him getting head when he was fucking 13 years As old in our laundry to. room. As he's supposed to. He's what standing up some girls on his knees and I'm like, whoa, I was just trying to get towels. Hell yeah, man, nah, fuck oh the towels. Hell yeah, nah, that, that's the wipe off towel for her. Don't you ever <sighs> try to take that man kind of. <laughs> I have, got you, brother. Have you ever been walked in on? Nah, 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 because I got I'm a grown ass man. Like I have <laughs> You have a place to live? You have a place to live. <laughs> well, I don't know. You're like, I'm a hobosexual. <laughs> I fuck to find places. This is, nah, to this stay. is that was with my ex. Uh let me see what. Nah, I, nobody ever walked in on me. And then I'm I I, I, I the only thing about me that I say a downfall is I'm not really too spontaneous. You know, you, I won't be fucking at a beach. I won't be fucking in a car and all that shit. Like, girl, I have a I have a house. Like, why are we doing poor activities? Car like, sex is great, though. Car sex is like, come on, that's so high school, college. But that's like he's obsessed with car sex. For what? Like, for, girl, she you used a, to get. How old are you? Twenty-three. That's what makes sense. God damn, you have a good back. Like, once you get older, you can be like, man, what? The I fuck? do not have a good back. Oh yeah, I do not. So car sex, it's like you gotta like y'all gotta work as a unit. You gotta Mm -hmm. have a lot of hip action. So why do you love car sex so much? I think I just like being on top. So like we would. You could do that in a bit. Okay, sorry. (laughs) It's just like fun. Like what if you get caught? It's just a little. Do you guys do you guys like car sex? And is there a time where you're supposed to stop having car do sex? Do I have yes. to age out of will, having car sex? What about giving road will, head? Like shit like that is fun. Girl, I wish you would give me some road head. No. What what if don't give me road head unless we was arguing and you admit that you was wrong. That's it. That's, that's when it? that's when my dick is hard. But other than that, if we happy and, and whip it out, no, get what the fuck? No, I'm not about to get no road head. Wait till we get home. But you, you can't would wait. say no. Yeah, I say no. I'm a grown. You wanna head. be in bed? Uh, listen, I don't want to fucking do two things at once. I don't want to. I got to worry about her dropping. No, like stop. How do you feel about sixty nineing then? Sixty nine is cool. That's two. That's two, two things, things at once. once. Yeah, but I'm I'm in the comfort but he's of my in bed. bed. He's in bed. That's what I'm saying. I'm in my home. I'm not about to get. Listen, you can die behind a wheel. A lot of people don't know a fucking car is a spaceship <laughs> on wheels. You talking about road head, motherfucker? What? <laughs> Are y'all serious right now? <laughs> Yeah. Yo, yo, I hate, you know what I hate? I, you're when, the first guy I've ever said that he would deny a blowjob in the fucking car. Fucking right, I'm a grown ass man. Because like, these guys, guys, we got to start thinking what I hit sometimes, man. Damn. Because then it, it's a it's a risk if you do turn down road head. Because like, babe, wait till we get home. And then when you get home, what's she what doing? she doesn't want it? Sleepy. Mm. You, women love to sleep no, for some s- reason. Yeah, we That's do. That's the thing. If I'm asking and I'm bringing it up, it's because I'm in the mood. Yep. If I'm rejected, I'm... I'm immediately not in the mood. You're yep. gonna try yep. me later. I'm gonna yep. be like, fuck no. Mm-hmm. But she going but bro, she gonna wear down in the she not gonna get it that night. But it's hard to turn down some good dick in the morning. I'm trying to tell you. Breath stanky, you gotta just keep them over there though. You can't. Yeah, morning just face sex. Down ass up. Yeah. Sun- yeah. Sunday morning, hungover. Sunday morning. That's what I'm saying. So why Kinky why would I, sex? Exactly. Do you in talk bed. dirty? Um Are you vanilla? Yeah, I'm vanilla. Did you ever do the BDSM test? What's that? Oh, you poor sweet summer. The, He's an old man. What's the, what, what is it? You what take Viagra. Uh, <laughs> Do you, like, are your balls, like, really low? <laughs> <laughs> Do they get wrinkly as you get older? I don't know, man. I don't like how y'all playing me right now. <laughs> well, what's the BDSM? What is that? Let's take it right now. What's the it's, test? A, it's too long. It's, it's a BDSM long. test that know, tests, questions? like, how kinky you are. Yeah. I mean, that, I don't fucking take stupid ass tests like that how the fuck are you gonna tell me what i like 
Well, you tell yeah. them what you like. But I'm saying, if I tell them, they're like, oh, you this kind of kinky. Like, yo, I don't like that shit. You. I really don't. Like, I don't need no fucking You're like, computer. that's big brother. <laughs> Why do they need to know how what I like in bed? That's because creepy. That shit, might, that shit might change. It might, like, one day, I might not even want to. Like, yeah. I feel like I was kinkier when I was younger. I used to take the test and get, like, way wilder responses, and now I take it. No, I'm fucking lazy. I'm a proud pillow princess. Yeah. I'm like, I want to lay there and take it. Like, I don't want to fucking do work. You want me to get on top? What would you buy me? <laughs> mm, <shit. laughs> like, no, I, I'll get on top if I literally like you, but I'm... A sub, so like I prefer it. Like I don't know, man, you, you know? women, man, y'all violent. Women. You know what I take take away for this conversation? You women don't know what y'all want. I know exactly what I want. I know what, what I want? want. What do y'all? What do you want? Why would I give a blueprint? I just said. I just the, said what I want. What do What do you want? To not have to get on top and do work. Okay. <laughs> the whole time. All That's I what want. You the whole time. Just call me a good girl. Lay like, it on yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is some bullshit. Think about talking about like sex wise what we want. Yeah. Oh, Think, I know. I'm, what I'm, I want I'm, I'm talking about eyes of in a man, in a man. What do you want in a man? Oh yeah, I'll talk about what I want sexually. I don't want to talk about what I want in a man because I don't want to give the blueprint out and then have some creepy guy try to emulate it and then get into my head and manipulate me. We gotta heal whatever just made yeah, you think I was that. I'm gonna say, em- em- yo, God <laughs> damn. That maybe your soulmate is right now looking watching this podcast and he's trying to figure out like, man, how the fuck can I be seen by Emily? And then it's David, like, stop hitting on Emily. We'll call HR. Oh shit. Hold yeah. on. Oh, hold on. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. So look. No. No. no you don't right. got him, bro. <laughs> you don't got him, bro. Yeah, hey, bro, stay. Hey, listen, listen on some pussy, bro. No, oh, hell. You, no. you, you got Clay. You you right here. You right, bro. I'm trying to tell you. You here no. around you uh, she gonna David. Hey, you, Hey, you can sh- listen. They shooting ten of them today. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Just listen to like some shit. shit. You see, and just DM her like two weeks from now. Hey, so. <laughs> he lives he'll in the same city. Come over and he'll be like, Emily, did anyone tell you they love you today? And I'm like, oh, you little nah, shit. He gotta, gets it. You guys get it from we the, do same the same thing. We do the same thing. Like, that's like how we grew it's up. It's why I don't trust salespeople. I don't trust people who are good at flirting. I'm like, don't fucking sales me. Mm-hmm. I see you, motherfucker. How do you flirt with girls? Uh, how do I flirt with girls? Like, if you're trying to hook up with someone, like, right now, how would you go about it? Uh, demonstrate on this water bottle. <laughs> we not, hold not, her. I, I demonstrate on Jamie. So if I, <laughs> if I saw Jamie, I'm like, yo, oh, you know, the, the approach would be like, uh, oh, I was always a fan of, like, jeans with the holes in them. Just to so start the conversation. stick my dick in them? Nah, just start a conversation. Like, oh, you, you like fashion? Do I look fashionable? Uh, I don't even know. I, I shop at Target. <laughs> That's not the type of girl I'll hit on. <laughs> She's messing with you. I'm messing Says, with you. I'm messing 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 with you. I'm Out of the respect yeah. of you being the guest. Oh, oh. We won't do that. I would, lo- I would love for you to come hard. Because, uh, so what would you have said? Let me oh show you how to. God. Let me show you how to recover, fellas. <laughs> let me show you how to recover. So what do you have said? What do you say? So let, let me go. So I'd have never. So what was my line? No, but you said that's not the kind of girl I would hit on. Yeah, and I was like. Says the guy who is broke. <laughs> broke, yeah. Bro. I was gonna come back. Yeah, but I'm I didn't have off. to. Huh? You, he wants to be a stay-at-home dad, so he's yeah. gonna. I was like, you know what? And then that's how you just be like, yo, we got off to a wrong foot. What's your, I'm Malik. What's your name? Gone. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, if she can leave him, she's not for you, fellas. You know, sometimes these girls just want to be left alone anyway. <laughs> wow, hey, this like, was some like. Great A. Great A flirting. I, think I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't flirt, <laughs> man. I don't flirt. Like, I just, I'm, I'm bad at flirting, I feel like. I can tell. I women like are, women are great. Come. Women are great at flirting. It's because, like, okay, so, like, I can flirt. If I, no, I'm not bad at flirting. I feel like it's easier me, for me to do it when I don't give a fuck. Like, mm-hmm. if I'm not, like, if I'm not trying to impress, like, I will flirt and, like, be able to have really good banner back and forth. What would you say? And then, though? like, I sometimes, like, if I like someone, I'm so nervous. I'm literally, like, <laughs> I talk about sex and I, like, I'm really aggressive and all this shit. And then if I like you, I could literally be, like, I'm afraid to kiss. Like, I, I get, like, <laughs> quiet or, like, I over talk because I don't shut up because I'm nervous. Like, it's a lot of, it's not the same, like, you know. It's easier to flare with, like. Random dudes you don't give a fuck about, then no, the fuck yeah, you have an interest in. I was not because you saw that shit went down. What the fuck? That shit was awful. <laughs> Wait, I'm too high to like figure out what you were saying. <laughs> oh, okay. I went right over oh, my head. Yeah. Just giving grade A comedy for this podcast. That's Sorry. all I'm trying to do. So, so you're just naturally dad. funny. You're just like entertaining. 
Yeah, well, I used to box. So uh, then from boxing. Let me uh, see your ears. That, that's, that's you got cauliflower ears? That's, no, that's UFC. <laughs> Nobody is choking me out. I never tap. Like, what are you talking? Two girls, one brain cell. Oh, wow. <laughs> shit. I wouldn't even like. I wouldn't even say one brain cell. <laughs> Two girls, and we need help. <laughs> I hey. thought you said it was going to be about like B giving us help. Yeah, and then I, we started talking about knuckles. Yeah, but it, uh, yeah, okay, you're right. I apologize. I contradict. What are myself. we even talking about? We're I just going even off. Know. I'm. I'm trying to I'm trying to find structure for this a, a lot of dudes fading out They was like Man I was, I, I was convinced This dude was going to have them Show titties I don't know what I did bro I don't know why I went wrong You the thought camera, we were showing titties? You thought we were going to show titties? Nah No But it had been It had been dope If I had like Like had y'all like Came up with a way but Like yo You know what I fuck with that dude He had them like Two girls in one podcast all you have to do is ask. Nah, I don't want to ask because then it, I want you to feel like, oh my god! Oh my so, gosh, I have he's to so show. Funny. My, wow, yeah. he was so. Do you get like a lot of pussy from stand up? <laughs> I I do not. Really? Yeah. I f- don't believe that. I don't Wait, believe what? that either. If I see a hot women, guy on first stage, of all, women love comics. Yeah, women love like a man who can make them laugh. You're on stage in a position of power, standing above them. That's like a um, automatic. It's already a power dynamic. That's hot. Yeah. You had a whole seminar for women with OnlyFans questions and what? You thought dicks was flushed, like, coming at you? Like, no. Like, no. You just don't. I, don't, I mean, I don't dicks are coming at me all the time. Yeah, but. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Just all in our face. All right. Well, okay. I Thank say you. we wrap this shit up. Please. Yeah. Like, kind of. We're dying. Smoke again. Like, we're dying. Of. We need a coffee. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank this you has so been much great. Thank you for having me. I appreciate y'all. Please support these ladies. Yeah, where can people find you? They can find me all over social media at Malik, M-L-I-K, Basil, B-A-Z-I-L-L-E. And you have a podcast? I have a podcast called Cutting Weight Podcast. We go over there with Jamar Neighbors, my man G-King. We talk about, you know, where uh, com- where comedy meets uh, combat. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I like it too as well. So it's, please support and please support these girls. They are very hard working. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for and having me. Make sure you, uh, not this week, but check him out on his comedy if you're at Supernova again. Supernova. And, uh, no, it's this, it's, wait. We're not, this isn't, I think this will come out on Tuesday. So do you, what, what are your shows next week? Oh, uh, next week. Hold on. Let me just shout out some dates real quick. We're going to link his Instagram below and do you post your shows on your IG? Yeah, every every skit I put out. So oh, this is two weeks. IG? We're actually posting this two weeks from now. Oh, two weeks? Oh, yeah. shit. I don't even know. Never mind. Then. Hey, if you follow me, you follow me by then. All right. Thank you so Cheers much. Cheers to that. We'll see you next Tuesday, you filthy fucking stoners. Have a great one. Bye.